I think the number one motivation for most of the people that I've worked with over the years is that they feel very fortunate to have been successful enough and have accumulated enough wealth where they now can start giving back. Uh, and I think that really is the number one motivation in terms of why people set up various charitable uh, initiatives. Uh, they identify various causes that are near and dear to them that at this point in their lives, they now can make an impact on. So it is very important when you're working with people like that to really help them figure out what the best mechanism is, what the most tax efficient way of giving is, because they are inclined, they are motivated to do it. So our job is to really give them the vehicles to accomplish that, those goals. I found that personal experiences often dictate uh, how charitable a person is going to be or how they're going to be charitable. Um, if someone's gone through some type of adversity in their lifetime, oftentimes they'll give back to that cause to help others who are similarly situated. In addition, uh, if someone feels some particular loyalty to uh, school, they'll often give back to help those that are uh, less fortunate than, than them and may not be able to otherwise attend. Um, in addition, the other large motivating factor that I've seen is a desire to set a good example for the younger generations and their family. Um, if they set up a private foundation or contribute to a donor advised fund, it's a good way to show the younger generations how to give back, get them involved in, in grant making, and it becomes part of their uh, normal routine and, and sets a legacy going forward. Some people feel that they've had a lot of good fortune in their life to the extent that they're adequately provided for, their children are provided for beyond what they might have ever expected, and they just want to be benevolent because they feel that they've been very fortunate. Um, some people are particularly wedded to certain charities that they've had a, maybe a lifelong relationship with, um, that they know from the ground up do great work, um, and so that relationship can often be a prime motivator. Sometimes it's people who have plenty of money who like to see their names on buildings and um, to see the, themselves perpetuated after the end of their lives in terms of uh, public recognition of their name and what they've done. Um, it's kind of complicated what, what motivates people charitably because it's a whole panoply of things that, that range from pretty selfish uh, to completely benevolent. What I've seen in my career and in life is that personal experiences are the, are the big motivation for charitable giving. Certain causes become very dear to somebody because they've seen friends or family members live with those issues. For example, my best friend growing up had cystic fibrosis and I was able to see various charities step in and help him in different ways and help him uh, have life experiences that would have never been available to him otherwise. And that really um, is something that people remember and can relate to as they think about their charitable giving.